I am Jason Abraham, Shadow Teacher 33, and I talk about creativity as being essential in the human soul. It's the birthright of the human soul. I, for one, feel the most alive when I feel a creative state, when I'm driven by this creative fire. And this creativity sparks and guides me and just brings so much richness to my life. And the ancient stories point sometimes to a muse, a beautiful muse that, that whispers in the human ear and, and inspires this creative venture in life. But I found there can be times where what that, that venture that was once inspired, that muse that once spoke to you, that voice goes silent. Or even worse, it goes critical. It becomes this critical, abusive voice that is criticizing you, beating you up. And the work that was once inspired, it becomes flat. It becomes flat, and very dead. And the, the creative spark that once brought you life is now extinguished. And there could be a feeling of, of deadness inside. And this voice of the muse and this creative spirit, that this can take its shape in an artistic pro project. It can take its shape in work, inspired work, calling. It can take its shape in a, a new relationship. And this process of, of, of sharing love with another human soul. But again, when that voice becomes critical, that voice that once was, was loving and inspiring becomes critical, and then that flame dies, oftentimes we can stick with that work that was inspired far too long. We can stay with it far too long when it's time to simply let it go. Let the, the creative work go that is no longer feeding our soul. Let it be and let that chapter in our life close. And when we do this, sometimes this can be very scary, it's frightening, whether, again, that could look like ending a passion project, a project that you thought was your, your life's work to create, leaving a job, leaving a relationship. And there's a feeling of, of grief, like you're grieve, grieving a death, because essentially you are. You're grieving something that once was alive in your life and now has died. And there's a fear, sometimes with this letting go, there's a fear that you're never going to find this kind of love, this inspiration, this creative energy again, you're never going to hear the voice of the muse again whisper in your ear. But this is simply a story. And it's simply a story that your ego is telling you to keep you attached to an old identity that no longer serves your highest good. And so with letting go, letting go with what you're doing in the world, you're letting go of an old version of you. And you're giving room and space for something new and fertile to grow from your being. Again, when, when the leaves fall from the trees and, and, and die and wither, they become compost, compost that is going to feed new life and that's kind of what happens with our souls, again, when we let go of attachments to former versions of ourselves. Again, whether that be how we're showing up in a creative project, in our work, in a relationship. And when we allow that time and we nourish ourselves, our nourish, we nourish our soul with what it needs. We learn from the loss and we ask the question, where now? Where to now? 
and this is going to be really hard when we attach a sense of purpose to the thing we're letting go of. But with this nourishment and with this introspection, eventually new life is going to sprout. And eventually that voice of the muse will, will come back. She's going to come back and she'll whisper in your ear once again and inspire you to heights and creative creative expression so expansive so vast and so expansive that you've never experienced anything like this new version and the world has never seen anything like what you're going to become before and this is a beautiful sight this is the the phoenix spreading wings of fire rising from the ashes of what was dead this is the the rebirth and this will happen. This will happen for you in its own time with the right nourishment of your soul. So in, in closing this video, when that voice of the muse goes silent, or when that voice of the muse becomes abusive, heed that call to maybe stop what you're doing, reflect, and see if it's time to let go and allow yourself to let go the thing, the old identity, and know that something better is on the way and something more beautiful is going to be born in you and through you. Be well, my friends. I'll see you on the other side.